welcome to PRG. We are actually really excited to present our True Color HS fixture, uh, the winner of three awards here at the NAB show 20, uh, 2012. Mm -hmm. This is a remote phosphor unit. Mm -hmm. it, um, and what is that? It is, it is blue LEDs that excite the phosphor mm -hmm. that's impregnated into these fixture, into these panels. Gotcha. Um, you change the color temperature by just removing the panels. Currently there are only there are two color temperatures available, mm -hmm. daylight and tungsten. We're opening up that range shortly. Gotcha. The body is extruded aluminum, very rugged, very location worthy. Mm -hmm. um, it has a it comes with a ten foot a uh, head to ballast cable. Mm -hmm. Then we have a power supply. Mm -hmm. That'll enable you to... Uh, I'm going to spin around to the side if that's all right. Yeah. So That'll enable you to daisy chain fixtures if you have multiples on location. Gotcha. And how much juice does it pull? It only pulls uh, less than 400 watts. And what kind and of output are we It gives you the output at? that is at least equivalent to a 2K zip or an Image 80 style fixture. For 400 watts, you said? Correct. That's great. And how much are, how much do those go for? Uh, approximately $3,500. $3,500. Yep. It seems pretty cool. Do you have any other fixtures using this technology? We actually do. We have the Photon, which is more of a, a spot-based unit. The interior LED is encapsulated, so this actually holds an IP66 rating, useful for outdoors location shoots. Um, and she is changing the... You can change the reflector. So you can change the reflector, correct. since you're not on mic. I'm oh, here. gotcha. Here. Uh, I'm changing the reflector in order to spot the... Um, in order to change the uh, field of the fixture. So gotcha. the, uh, the light comes out at 180 degrees. We recollect that by using different types of reflectors. Gotcha. So the lighting that's provided in our booth are the 20 degree units. These go up to 60. This particular one will operate off of battery pack. Mm -hmm. We also have a line voltage unit that's here. Well, if it's a wall power unit, how much, what's it draw? If it's a wall power unit, it's 25 watts. 25 watts. So it's next to nothing. An equivalent uh, output to what? Uh, you're looking at equivalent to a pocket power? It looks just like a pocket bar. Is Ari, <laughs> is Ari gonna sue you? Oh, uh, I don't <laughs> it know. It looks so much like a pocket bar. <laughs> I just doubt saying. it. I doubt so it. So a little more about this reflector. So what's included in the kit? Included like, in the kit. How many different reflectors do you get? Well, you get three different reflectors. Gotcha. Like a sort of uh, a tight, medium, and wide, basically? Right, right. All right, cool. And will you, will you point that at our lovely assistant over here so I can see what it looks like Absolutely. on a person? So it's it's a little, it's hard, but that's to be expected. It's a tiny little hard par source. Do you have par lenses or anything like that that go on the front of it we to do spread not. it out? We do not. How about barn doors? We do. We have color frame and barn door that are available for it, a little accessory holder. Gotcha. That's a pretty cool light. And how, how much is that going to cost me? $895. That's hot. Very nice. Yeah. Is there a show discount or a, pub, <laughs> or a giving, you free, giving you free publicity discount <laughs> for hardworking gaffers and cameramen? You know what? Uh, With three-letter we'll first names? We'll have to definitely look into that. Yeah. Absolutely, Tom. Th what, what is this technology? Like the, it's, like, it's an LED, it looks like, in there, but different. A lot of it has to do with the fact that we're on the substrate. We're dealing with a much larger surface area, so our saturation point is a lot higher than when you're dealing with smaller diodes that have basically pinpricks of phosphor. It's the phosphor that creates the white light. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you're thinking about it, say, a, a light panel is a fantastic equivalent just because of the size. You just have little pinpricks that happen in the spatial area. A bunch of little Covering little it completely, dots. we've yeah. got a lot more phosphorus we can pump gotcha. out at you. So normal LEDs, there's some little, there's a little diode in there and then there's a dome of glass or plastic yeah, yeah. over it, that's what's coated with phosphorus. Yeah, a, a typical LED has two primary components. Um, the blue, which mm -hmm. is the pump, that's what gives you the efficacy. Yeah. And then the phosphor, which is doped on top of it, and that's what gives you color temperature and CRI. Right. And then those are encapsulated into the diode. And, right. and that's that's what makes your LED puck, your traditional. We just separate the two core technologies in yeah. our fixtures and treat them mutually exclusive. And the and the 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 core can it has the ability to heat up a much bigger 
well, illuminate a much bigger yeah. patch of phosphor than just that little dome of plastic exactly. or glass. Exactly. It also wow. makes it interchangeable, upgradable, replaceable. That's awesome. So Who it, invented this? You know what? It's actually really uh, kind of physics 101. You see it's remote basic. phosphors being used a lot in plasma televisions gotcha. and uh, like our Apple monitors, things like that. Wow. Uh, just taking the approach into the lighting world and, and looking at the spectrum in terms of emulating a tungsten yeah. element is just uh, yeah. What's the, clever oh, folks. And what's the CRI like on these? I didn't ask that. Uh, currently, the panels that we have, yeah. 97 on the tungsten and we're at 92 on daylight. That's awesome. As we get better, we can just, as I said, upgrade panels. So the technology that you buy today will still be relevant six years from now. Oh. And you don't have to worry about investing in in technology now and being outdated next year. That is very cool. Yeah. That is very cool.